Hello everybody, this is Stringing Emma back for round three of Group F. Group F looking not very, not as competitive as some of the other groups thus far, mainly because we got the two guys at the top with two wins from two. In this matchup, we are going to see Hex going up against Cheer Knights, Dino Fans taking on El Igozi, and then a big clash at the bottom between Mr. Dinosauria and Team Africa. Right, let's go with our first match, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Hex, we have got Tank. Okay, they both want to swap when HP's below half, so that makes things easy for me. We are on the meadow field, which I don't think affects anyone. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, it might affect Hex. I forgot this. Oh, yeah, yeah it's bad news for Hex. Because his second I know is Alpha Rajasaurus. Will we ever get a match in the Alpha Arena with Alpha Dinosaurs? That's the one terrain advantage we haven't seen so far in this tournament. But it is terrain disadvantage here for Hex. As for Chair Knights in the blue corner, we have got the Amagasaurus. Chair Knights looking strong in this tournament so far, getting wins over El Gozi in round one and. Um, who the bloody hell did they beat in round two? Can't remember now. <laughs> but they but, but they won well in round two. That's all you need to know. Backing up the Amargosaurus, we got the Steg. Steg did its work in round two as well, that's what I do remember. Cheer Knight's looking to make it three wins from three and join the Stranger Gamer and the Champions team as the 100%ers. Oh, oh, it's a mirror match. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's see what this match delivers. Well, it first delivers a tie. Another tie. Ties will favour Chain Knights though, but the Amargosaurus still takes a little bit of damage from the tie. Oh, that definitely favours Chain Knights. That's a crit. Bush. Even with Tank's super resilience, still no match for the power of that Amargosaurus is great. Uh, yeah, time to bolt. Time to bolt Tank. <laughs> and Tank, indeed, does get to swap out. Although, it's into... Oh, actually. It's not the most tactical swap out in the world, because Rajasaurus comes in with terrain disadvantage, so Cheer Knights is going to get the next hit. Okay, that's not below half. That's pretty much bang on. So we won't do the swap yet. Okay, now it's bang on. Now it's going below half. Ooh, now I fight the Futaba cannon. Interesting. But Chain Knights is going to swap out into the Steg here. The Amargosaur is doing its work. And I'd probably say Chain Knights in the lead. But all that can change. And yes, Rajasaurus needs to swap out. Back in the tank. But that'll be it now for Hex. No more swapping in this match. Oh, uh, rip Hex if this Stegosaurus kills Tank. Because it'll get a crit on the Rajasaurus. Oh yeah, the Earth Barrier, I forgot about that. Oh, hello, we got a Shockwave effect. A Margosaurus coming in there, helping his tag team partner out. Okay, we'll go for Scissors. Oh, I think that's going to be it for Tank. Maybe not, actually. Stegosaurus is over two moves. She doesn't have much power there. It's all in the crack. Oh, Hex really needs to get a hit on the board here. And does. Okay, Hex getting a hit there. Coming back. Really needs to get off that scissors move because it's a food move. Heal her up. Well, this does nothing. <laughs> okay, I think it'll be time for the steak to swap. Ooh, again, it's like the Amargosaurus is like bang on halfway. Ooh! Hello, hello! Hex not done yet with Tank! Oh, 
Okay, now Tank is done, and the Steg, she gets to swap out. Back into a Margosaurus. Just in time for the Raj to come in, so you know what that means. Terrain disadvantage plays out yet again, so yet again, the Rajasaurus is going to get hit. Oh, here comes an Earth Barrier, you know, because she didn't get any off when she was in. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, that's the bonus point win for, Cry for Cheer Knights. Ooh. Okay, well, no more swapping now. Ooh, we got the food card, so the Raj is going to heal up. It won't make a difference if Futaba Cannon activates, but, you know, it could make a difference on the stack. Oh, yeah, the Earth Barrier is protecting the Amargosaurus. Ty? Hmm, Chain Knights? Okay, well, Ty's suit Chain Knights all day long, especially with the Amargosaurus. Oh, another hit coming in. Boosh! I'll stop booshing, I promise. I think that's going to be it for the Amargosaurus. And all of a sudden, I think the match is up for grabs again. Oh, no, 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 there it is. <laughs> Tegazaurus getting the job done. Ooh, got a bit hairy there for Chain Knights, but they do indeed make it free on a free. Ooh, I, I, I don't know, I just had a feeling there that Hex was going to snatch it. I just had that feeling, but Chain Knights just hung in there to get the job done. And that's three points on the board, and that's probably going to be them through to the last 32 round. As for Hex, still a bit of work to do. Right, on to our next match. I think both these two are in for a stern test. Right, in the red corner, for Dino fans, we have got Packy Rhinosaurus. Dino fans, two wins from two thus far in this tournament. Will they join Cheer Knights at the top of the table with three wins from three? Okay, we're on the Sunset Beach Field. Which doesn't affect anybody, actually. Backing up the pa Packy Rhinosaurus, we got Armatus. Uh, with the armor, of course. Okay, so Gods wants to swap when HP is in the red. And um, Dino fans when HP is below half. Skip! Right, as for Alpy Gods, in the blue corner, we have got Terry. Well, it was a shredded machine last time out against Team Africa. Mainly because of the terrain advantage and the type advantage over the Afrovenator. Like, Terry just absolutely smoked the Afrovenator. It's it still smoking, that's how dead the Afrovenator was. He killed in two hits. Absolute brute force. And here comes the sinister little ratty thing, the Ceratosaurus. Haven't seen too much of this thing. I suspect it'll have it'll see a bit of play in this matchup though. Ooh, this is a tough one to call. This is a tough one to call. Because that Terry is powerful, and he's got Deathfire. Do not forget that he's got Deathfire as well. Ooh, it's a Ty. Well, Ty's favour Gauzy because he's got the Heat Eruption. Another Ty. Another Ty. Starting even start so far. Another tie. Oh, come on, someone got a hit. Another tie. Oh, could be time to swap for the Pappy Rhinosaurus. And, uh, another freaking tie. Oh, finally, someone got a hit. And is Gozzy getting the first hit? Oh, it's Crimson Flame, isn't it? Don't pull this up, don't pull this up, don't pull this up. Oh, I don't like these moves. I mean, they're fun to use, but not when, like, you're doing it, like, doing tournaments and that. Okay, there we go, I got it. And that will be all she wrote for Patty Rhinosaurus. So after about a record number of consecutive ties, Gauzy will be taking the lead.
But there goes Pachyronosaurus. Armatus will get hit as well. And well, after only like a single hit, Pachyronosaurus goes down. Mm, but Armatus retaliating with a crit of his own. And that probably is going to be all she wrote for Terry. Defense boost coming in as well. And yeah, we're back to one on, we're one on one now. It's Sarathosaurus against Armatus. Ooh, Armatus gets the next hit. Dino fans taking the lead. More defense boost, which will definitely help them. Ooh, not looking good for Gonzi. Another hit from Armut. There's our bars filling up as well. One more hit or a tie. We'll probably see Spectral Armour. Oh, 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 the Dino Stuffer. I think we'll still see Spectral Armour though. And we do see Spectral Armour, so you know what that means. Time to enter the code. Oh, it's all going to come down to this, isn't it? Well, Dino Fans is definitely in the driving seat now, and it looks... And it looks like he's going to make it three wins from three. Ooh, it's a tie, but that's going to favour Dino fans. Another tie. Oh, another tie. Ooh, hello. Gozzy's getting a hit on the board. Well, this light recovery is going to do nothing. I mean, now Ty's probably lean towards Gozzy now. Oh, hello! The Ceratosaurus all of a sudden has woken up. Well, Gozzy's got at least a losing bonus point. And has he just won? Oh, Gozzy snatched it! Oh, Gozzy snatched the match away from Dino Fans. Ends his winning streak. And Dino fans tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. Could not capitalise with the uh, with the spectral armour, and it is Elty Gozzi taking the spoils. And I think because the Ceratosaurus's HP was not in the red, no losing bonus point either for Dino fans. Oh, right kick in the teeth, Akabi. That light recovery did make a difference. Right on to our third matchup. Ooh, hello, we're in the Colosseum. Okay, no secret dinosaurs, so no terrain advantages. In the right corner, for Monsieur Dinosauria, we have got the Tijongosaurus, Mr. Dinosauria. Not really got going yet in this tournament, really struggling to get going, in fact. Suffering defeat in round two against Cheer Knight, and in round one against, I think it was Gozzi. Backing up Tijongosaurus, we got Super Displetosaurus, wait a mode on three. So yeah, is this the match where Mr. Dinosauria will finally get their tournament up and running? In the blue corner, for Team Africa, we've got the Afrovenator, the Afrovenator with Quick Strike. So his first move is going to be Scissors. Of course, that didn't really work for Team Africa last time out against Gazi, it just gave themselves a mountain to climb. Dun -dun. Backing up the Afrovenator, we got the Uranosaurus. The Valiant Lizard itself, the Spinosaur the Vegetarian Spinosaurus. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is if you think about it. It's got a sail like the Spino, like Spino has, but he's vegetarian. Then again, you could say he's a vegetarian Akron. Okay, so, yeah. Africa below half, Dinosauria in the red. Oh yeah, almost forgot the Quick Strike. Oh, that's a tie. Didn't get the quick strike off, but they didn't get hit either. Oh, well, they're getting hit by that crit, though. Boosh! Oh, look at, the, look at that damage. That's insane. Ooh. A frozen eater responding with a crit, but the dino stuff is going to stop it. And I almost forgot the swap. But I got the swap off indeed, which is a very good swap for Team Africa because the Obanosaurus will have a tight advantage over Tijongosaurus. Ooh, getting a hit there. And this Oranosaurus is heroic type, so I think 
an egg attack here, well, it's not going to get an egg attack, would probably have killed the Tijongasaurus. <laughs> but Team Africa will take the hit there. Saving the quick strike for an update. Oh, hello, we got a Cyclone. Oh, that's a tie, but the Cyclone means that the Aranosaurus is going to get the hit anyway. Good response from Team Africa there. Okay, Mr. Dinosaur, finally getting another hit on the board. But Team Africa is still plugging away, and this hit will do more damage. Because, well, it's technically a grass move. So, yeah. Ooh, is this lethal? I think the Tijongasaurus will just about survive, yeah. Needs to get the swap off here. And, uh, and indeed does get that swap off, but the Afrovenator has healed up quite a bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's below half. Alright, that's once. Oh, oh, it's an egg attack! Oh, this is going to do damage. Not as much damage as it would have done on the Tijongasaurus, but it's still going to do damage. Okay, there's the Afrovenator, so it'll be time for Quick Strike. That's awakening number two. Ooh, this time though, the Dustpletosaurus gets the hit and stops the Quick Strike. No, they caught the bluff. Oh, this is going to do extra damage. And it's awakening time for Dustpletosaurus. Ooh, this could be this could be interesting. The Aranosaurus is on pretty much on almost on full health. If the I think I was one, yeah. Ooh, that's a tie. That definitely Oh I thought he's gonna kill the Afrovenator there. Well uh, he gets the hit and I don't know why I quit swap. I mean, at least he got to, gets a hit, but it's kind of wasted, and the Aranosaurus will come in and be on pretty high health. Yes, yes, I know. I've done it again. I double tapped. Okay, it's not that bad, actually. Oof. Well, the Aranosaurus needs two hits and it wins. And yes, the Despeatosaurus does in fact get a swap. Oh, but he's not going to get it. And that's going to kill it, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. How costly could that be? I think the Despeatosaurus was key there. And now, all of a sudden, this Tijongasaurus got facey around the source with tight disadvantage. And basically one hit away from death. Tie, that's not going to help. Even though this Tijongasaurus, I think, is revival type. No, it's not. Oh, there it is. Not even a losing bonus point. And Mr. Dinosauria really struggling in this tournament to impose themselves and his Team Africa for the win. Oh, that could be costly. Really costly, that could be. Right, let's have a look at how Group F stands after that. Well, I can officially confirm that Cheer Knights will be going through to the last 32 round, mainly on the basis that these two still have to play each other. And, well, they're 10 points clear of Mr. Dinosauria, so there's simply not enough points for Mr. Dinosauria to finish above Cheer Knights. So, yeah, Cheer Knights safely through to the last 32 round there with three wins from three. Dino fans in second on seven points, above Gozzi by virtue of the fact that they got that bonus point. And then we have Elty Gozzi in third place there on six points, Closing the gap on Dino fans. Keeping it tight at the top. Team Africa in fourth place after that big win over Mr. Dinosauria. Hex. And Hex in fifth place on three points. And poor old Mr. Dinosauria. Yet to get off the mark. Right, let's see how round four, what round four has in store for us. So round four we'll see LP Gozzi going up against Hex. Team Africa going up against Cheer Knights. Oh my that's probably going to be another three points for Cheer Knights. And then, Mr. Dinosauria going up against Dino Fans. 
I think the best case scenario for Dinosauria here is if Gozzi and Cheer Knights win. Of course, none, none of that it matters if they lose to uh, Dino fans in round four, so yeah. But their best case scenario is hoping that Gozzi and Cheer Knights win in round four. Just to keep these two, uh, you know, within touching distance. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until next time, ta-ta.